welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I didn't do a video last week of the Little Women. And I also didn't realize that I've been missing Little Women of LA. But I'm caught up on that and I might try to start reviewing them eventually. Don't mind my hair. I'm tired and I'm getting ready to go to bed. I just finished watching Little Women of um, Atlanta. So... Now it's time to talk about it. Alright, so this episode starts off with Money and Juicy and they are at, and I, and I want to say really quick, on the last episode, it starts off with Money going to this place called Glaze. And I was like, we have a Glaze here in Houston, but it's not as fancy as that one. I don't know if it's the same company because they kind of sort of have the same name, but that one was really, really fancy and I would like to go there one day because our glaze isn't that nice but anyways so they are um what were they at a really nice restaurant and i wrote down all my notes first thing i wrote down was um uh, money's hair and her little confessional thing was on point this is the best i ever seen her wigs it was pretty it looked good on her and i really liked her wigs actually in this whole episode there was a lot of things that I liked that the girls were, were doing hair-wise. But, um, I don't look crazy. I look like somebody mama. But, I don't care. Um, so they're talking about her son, D2. On the last episode, she went and, um, picked him up from Houston. And she has him in Atlanta and he's kind of homesick so she's kind of I guess she's been getting on to him um that's about it and that scene they kind of talk about Tanya a little bit and how she kind of can kind of relate and blah 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 and the next scene is Tanya speaking of and Tanya is getting ready for Nico to come over um Nico comes over and the first thing I see when he, when she's going to open the door is that little two-year-old dreads is standing on like the couch arm. And I'm like, oh my God, this is why this girl don't need to have no more kids. This is why she needs to have help. I immediately was shouting, get your baby girl. Like, I'm, even though she, he was right there opening the door, which still wasn't even like really a good thing. Like, he opened the door. I'm glad that he was opening up as slow as he was because the baby was right there, like standing on the couch arm. And I'm like, Tanya, all your babies are under three years old and you got this one standing on the couch and this one is more of the active one. The little girl isn't as active or they don't sh really show her as much or, he j or she just is isn't as camera hungry or attention hungry as the, uh, the one with the dress the little boy but just imagine if she was i mean you already got that one climbing on the arm you might have her climbing on a chair and then the one in the womb gonna be jumping on the bed girl and you ain't got no help you you got this this no good dude nico that up and left you and then you got sam that up and left you but i'm pretty sure she's gonna come back and so um you really don't have too much help. And then you got all these babies that are super young. And you, when the baby was on the, the, the arm, I was like, she cannot even reach him. She cannot. The only way that she could probably get him down is she kind of grabbed his little legs. I don't know. Hope he fell into the couch or something. But she couldn't reach that baby. And imagine if he was climbing on something else that she couldn't reach. Like, I'm sure she could have, I guess she could have climbed around on the other side of the couch, yeah. But he could have jumped off by the time she got around. So, you need to, you need to apologize to Sam. And I'm sure you will, because you know that Nico done left. Apologize to Sam and have her back in there. Even though she probably couldn't get the baby down either, but at least there would have been, been two of y'all. If he would have went, if you would have been going around to catch him, if he jumped, she could have been there at the front of the couch, to catch him, there could, there could have been two of y'all to tag team this one baby that seems like he's the most active one. But um, that's all I want to say on that part of it. The next scene is the twins and Manny, and they're basically talking about Manny's sleep problems. 
she um were they working out in this one i think they were working out and um oh no that was on the last episode i'm sorry that was on the last episode where she, she was was it because i just watched the last episode to get caught up but anyways y'all know she was working out she couldn't breathe and um Oh, this is what this is. she actually is giving them the results. Y'all, I'm getting them too confused. But she's giving them the results, and apparently she has been she stops breathing, or at least on that um that night she has stopped breathing 150 times, y'all. Like I was concerned for many. I was like, oh girl, that is a lot. Like, I don't have them problems, but that's gotta be scary. I mean, I have my own little for heart problems and stuff that I'm going to try to figure out. But she um, has stopped breathing 150 times and she has to wear one of those masks when she sleeps and she's like, that's not the most sexiest thing. But then I'm like, who's sleeping in bed with you? So, I mean, why does this keep popping up? As far as that goes, girl, who cares? Ain't nobody but your mama and the dog if the dog is still alive and your mama really not even in the house. So, who cares? Um... And she's also been having seizures. And I'm like, oh, that that is really scary. I mean, I could just imagine how scared she must feel um, after seeing those results. Because I was scared listening to it. And I was like, I, I can't really imagine. This is light. I'm not liking it. Um, going, going through all that. Um. And then another thing that I brought on my note is <laughs> Amanda's hands. Like, do y'all notice when Amanda is sitting, she kind of sits with her hand, her hands. They're like on her legs. She can bend her hands back. She kind of sits them like this. And that girl can bend her hands back so far. Like, they're almost touching her fingers. It's almost like touching the back of her hand. I know I be watching the show a little bit too hard, but I noticed that in the last episode when she sits, she kind of sits and she puts her hand on her legs and they go back. Like she kind of sits them like that. Like this is be this will be her leg. And she just kind of sits them down like kind of like I don't know, but her hands can go back so far. I'm like, okay, girl, dang. But <laughs> I just broke that down because I was like, girl, that's amazing. Like I just said, I was sitting there on, you know, looking at the TV like my hand don't bend like that. But uh, that might be part of that condition. But um, I wrote that down because I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the next scene is money and mini. And on my notes, the first thing I wrote down was eyebrows. And I wrote down eyebrows because it annoys me so much to see money's eyebrows go from here to here. I'm like, girl, stop drawing. And then on top of that, they were dark. They were almost black. Like, I color in my eyebrows because I have really thin hair on my legs, on my eyebrows, and a little bit here in my, on my forehead or in my edge area or whatever. But that's something I was born with. And so I do fill in my eyebrows a little bit. But I used to use black, but I don't because that looked tacky. Now I use brown, as you can see. But I don't... I don't go all the way to here. Like, her eyebrows would be from here to here. And I just be looking at her, like, from the moment, from actually the very first season, I noticed, I'm like, why she try her eyebrows so far over? Stop doing that, because it looks like one unibrow, and a long unibrow at that. But the fact that they were super dark... And they might have been with a brown pencil, but they were really, really dark. And on top of that, she draws them all the way over to her eyes. I was just like, Ugh. that's the only thing I was staring at. I'm like, Minnie, stop doing that. Stop, stop doing that. Stop drawing your eyebrows on so long and stop making them so dark. Well, at least in that episode, they were, at least in that scene, they were dark. They been all right, except for them being all the way here. But for the most part, as far as like color, they have been all right. But they looked it a mess. And it actually reminded me of this anime called, I want to say it was called Fully Cooly. 
And there was this one character that had some really thick rectangle eyebrows. And the little boy that was the main character, every time he saw him, he said eyebrows. <laughs> and then they would pan over to the guy and they were, his eyebrows would fall off sometimes. <laughs> well, now you do. I don't like it spicy. Those eyebrows. So, where's it going to fall? I wish I could do that. <laughs> I wish that when I see money on TV, I just say eyebrows or eyebrows just fall off. <laughs> and then I could be like one of them cartoon episodes where the hand comes in and draws stuff. And I my hand could just come in and draw her eyebrows on her phone, on her for her. But yeah, every time I see many and my eyebrows, I should be like eyebrows. <laughs> Cause she look a mess but she's a cute girl but them eyebrows i can't um so let me get off of that so <laughs> they are at a shoe place trying on shoes for d2 because he's getting ready to leave and he needs some shoes uh because he's growing so they try on a bunch of shoes and basically money is like oh you can't have those shoes because they put got purple in it and you finna get these brown ones even though i think she talked about the brown ones she's letting him buy the brown ones and um the many ends up saying was well, since your mama won't get you the, the purple and black ones i'm gonna get you the purple and black ones if girl if she didn't want him to have them purple and black shoes don't buy them purple and black shoes i doubt that she could not afford them she just didn't want him to have it but then i also agree with many and saying he can wear purple like it's just the color that society puts on blah blah blah, blah you know but it, girl, it wouldn't have bothered me if my son was like, oh, I want these shoes, this little line of purple in it. I'd be like, okay. But that's a child, it's not mine. Um, the next scene is the twins are shopping for dresses for Amanda. And um, their little confessional where they have on the red and their hair's in a ponytail. Um, their hair looked a little thin. Their ponytails. Um, I guess they wear extensions. It's the first time I really noticed it kind of being thin. So I'm assuming that they wear extensions. Or am I just late on that? And um, But they, were look, they look really, really cute. Even though they had their hair in a ponytail like that. Um, also, I wrote in my notes... Also, I wrote in my notes, um, the red dress that she tried on, I wish I had my phone, but the red dress that she tried on, I almost bought that same dress off of Amazon in white. I just wanted to point that out for some reason, but, you know, I guess they weren't going to wear exclusive, so I guess she could find that store and afford to shop in that store. Um, they must not be making as much money as, um, Andy and his girls in Atlanta because they kind of live in, like, basic stuff. Their houses aren't that grand. They shop at non-grand places. And, yeah, I just, I was like, I almost bought that red dress in white. Um, the next scene is Tanya is moving out of her house to her new house which is bigger and just as ugly but it ain't got the coins i guess but um and nico's helping her move and one thing i noticed when nico was in like the pantry she had and he was coming out with the cereal and the baby she had stuff all at the top like he would probably have to reach up like that to get it and I'm like, why well, she got that food up that high? Is it that stage? Like, come on. Come on. Like, it ain't no way she reaching that shelf unless she's just climbing up that mug. And I doubt she climbing and climbing up that shelf pregnant and all. So why the food up so high? Come on now. Y'all, um, I noticed. I was like, really? That food, is, like, I would have to stand on my toes to reach some of that food that was up there. I watched this show a little bit too hard, but I noticed that when he was coming out, I was like, she showed that food high up in her uh, pantry. Why, 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 
I don't know, like everything should have been at the one at one or two levels, and all should uh, probably all should have been stacked and piled for her height and the amount of mouth she got in the house, but not all the way up there like they were. But um, so she's talking about that and talking about having a house for me and talking about having separate rooms, which I think is a good idea. But all the rooms are gonna go to her and the kids because he leaves. Uh, so then we move on to Minnie and Juicy, and they are creeping on Marlon at his favorite truck stop, which I'm like, this is extra stage, because how do they know when he gonna get there? And then on top of that, when they, when he does get there, and they go into the restaurant or wherever that he is, he's like, what are y'all doing here? Did money put y'all up to this? I wrote in my nose bad acting. Because you could have been a little bit more surprised, Marlon. But maybe you just that chill. I don't know. But I was just like, he knew that it was coming up in there. But, or, but I don't know. I just thought it was just like a little phony. Um, He is talking about he still don't want to marry her. And that he's thinking about moving out. And I'm kind of like, you got a fresh cut. You got this, uh, this nice diamond earring pretty sure it's a screw on back and uh your little mohawk haircut i wrote down on my notes are you creeping marlon you don't want to marry this girl now over a ring or whatever the problems y'all got and you looking this nice coming from out of town mm -mm. i don't trust you You're a little bit too clean you're a little bit too fresh and your earrings a little bit too shiny i don't trust it so uh We'll see what happens. Apparently, in the next episode, he's still talking about not marrying her. And I'm still like, why? I mean, maybe y'all need some counseling, but you knew the girl was wild and crazy. She felt sorry. It's like she's really, really trying hard to get right. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, when he came, when he came back from out of town, he was too freshly clean. I was a little bit suspicious when I saw that. Um, what else? I have the next scene is money, and it was really, really quick. It was really sad as D2 leaving, and she's kind of getting upset about Marlon not being there and just asking her son what he thought about it. And her son basically was basically like, I wish he would have been there, it would have been nice. And so that was a pretty sad scene. Um, The next scene is the twins. They're taking, uh, what's the baby name? I can't think of her baby name. I know it starts with an A. It's Andrea's baby. Audrey? Audrey. They're taking Audrey to get her checkup, and she has taken her tube out. And I did notice that when they panned over to her for a couple of seconds that she was moving a little bit more. So I was like, oh, that's good. She, she does seem a little bit more alert. Um, but she is doing better. She's gaining weight. She's moving a little bit more. And I'm I'm happy for the twins and I'm happy for the baby. I'm glad she didn't have the feeding too because it just looks so sad and so miserable. And I was just, I was ready for it to come out too. I was just ready for her to be a normal baby. And so she is. So I'm happy for the twins. Um, let's see. The next scene is all the girls are, oh, my dog is making a bunch of noise. It just keeps walking by me. Jojo, you okay? You yeah, all right? So, um, the next scene is all the girls, they're at Tanya's house. Let me get my poo. Ooh, I put some stuff on him, y'all, and it's supposed to be natural with a whole bunch of oils in it to keep fleas off of him, and it is strong. But, um, his nose. So they're all at Tanya's house, and, ooh, <laughs> gotcha. This is my dog, Jojo. He almost fell out of my lap. He looks terrified. You yeah, all right, boo. Um, but they're all at our house, and 
Tanya can't get nothing done because of that little two-year-old. She's trying to put him to sleep. She can't cook or anything like that. Um, but the girl, she finally puts him down and finishes cooking, I guess. They all go out to the back and they're all kind of like, well, where's Mika? Where's Mika? I mean, don't nobody really want to say anything at first. But then eventually, the, one, the twin says something and then... Um, Juicy says something. So she's like, oh, I don't really want to talk about it. But you know, everybody was like, well, come on, we want to know. So she's finally, finally says that he left. And I'm like, girl, how long did that take? Because I did not take that long. <laughs> it's like he helped you move and was out of there. Like, <laughs> talking about he needs to, to, to warm up to the babies or something like that. And I was on her side, like, you don't warm up until they up at the house. Like, they keep growing. And I ain't never had kids, and I don't have kids. I just have a dog, but I'm used to him now. But I was just like, that's a punk. I'm sorry, girl. Leave him alone. He, yeah, I mean, he wasn't really around for the first one. And you need to really be taking notes from Amanda and Andrea's situation. Please, don't act like your dude is any different from Chris. He's the same size. He's just a different color. But, um, and it seems like he talked to you just as crazy as Chris talks to Andrea. So, you, you, you don't, you just, got, you got basically got a, your own Chris. It's just a different color. He's just black. A black version of Chris. That's what you got. And he don't seem like he would get as crunk, but, I mean, maybe he do. I don't know. But, um... So, he's gone. Um, Juicy goes and gets some Moscato. And then she comes back with Marlon. He surprised her with roses. They weren't really roses. Marlon, I'm going to need you to know your flowers. And if you was really trying to get some roses, get some roses. You could have just said, I got you some flowers. But I was like, you looked at crazy saying that you got some roses. And I'm like, that ain't no roses, <laughs> There's not no roses, but okay, you got her some flowers. Um, he said he was gonna let the situation go, and they were basically going to work on their relationship and get back together and all that. Turning my paper. The last scene was Amanda. She's finally on her anniversary dinner. And I like this scene because it reminds me of me and my boyfriend. Um, because we've been together for two years also, and I thought it was funny that when they were talking about their first date and how she wanted to go to this Chinese restaurant that was her favorite, and he thought it was so gross, and she was like, that's my favorite. It made me think of, like, what was my first date, um, with my boyfriend, uh, well, not when, but where, and I'm like, Sonic. That was our first date. It was at Sonic. We actually went ice skating after that, but it was at Sonic, and I was just kind of laughing. I was like, girl, <laughs> don't feel bad, because I went to Sonic for my first date, and, um, and they also reminded me of a time when my boyfriend had broken up. We had, me, we had broken up for like 30 minutes <laughs> before um, when she said they broke it up for like two weeks and she did, she changed some numbers I was like girl that was drastic I just deleted his number out of my phone but uh, he then tries to surprise her by bringing a saxophone player and she thought she was gonna get proposed to and it was just the saxophone player but then when she found out that that's not what it was it wasn't the proposal and she was getting upset I'm looking at the saxophone player like you can go now, bruh. Like, why are you going to stand around? I'm sorry, y'all. I'll just be watching too far into the show. But, um, she gets upset. Saxophone player finally leaves. And she leaves and storms out. He didn't propose. And I kind of was like, well, maybe he going to catch her outside. Catch her outside. <laughs> catch me outside about that. I thought that that was going to happen, but he didn't. And it just went on to the end of the show. And I was like, oh, okay. It's not going to be a little twist because, you know, sometimes they do that. 
But I think later on he is going to propose to her. Pretty sure later on. Hopefully he will. But I would be upset too. Or I, I wouldn't have left. Um, I definitely would have wolfed my food down a little bit quicker. Knowing that there was a surprise. But once the saxophone player came out. I would have been looking over at him like. It's taking you so long to get down on your knees. Because the saxophone player seemed like he almost done with his song. But um, I, I, I could feel her on that. You know, you ready to be married or is she? Because she was kind of like she was still young and kind of wasn't married. But then she was excited when her sister was talking about it and excited. I think she's excited, but well, she's ready to get married to him. And I like Jordan. Did I call him Chris earlier? Jordan. He's, he's really sweet to her. He's a cute little fat guy. And um, I, I think he's perfect for her um he's he seems like a really really sweet sweet dude and he cares about her sister and he cares about her sister's kids and i think amanda really needs to hold on to this guy and she just really needs to be patient with him amanda girl i know the feeling i really do but just hold on child like you said you're still young i'm older than you and i'm ready so I, you know, I just kind of know the feeling. But anyways, that is going to be the end of oh, this video. I am tired. I didn't post anything last week because I was so busy with work. But hopefully I can get back on track. There is no way I'm able to do this whole March Madness upload every day for the month of March. I, I, I can't. I will try to review Little Women of LA. I think they are on their third episode. I just watched the first and the second one where they were doing the Dancing with the Stars thing with Tara. And basically, what's her name? Was just happy and was ready for her to be done with the show. And she was just grinning the whole time. And I was like, girl, such a hater. Like, I know you want your friend off the show for her health, but sh you could have toned that smile down a little bit. But anyway, that's that's later. Hopefully later. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye.